Hi friends, welcome. Today we will be discussing very important questions for 12th standard board examination to be held in February 2017. I uh, will be discussing important questions for maths paper 2 topic wise. So get ready with your pen and the notebook to note down very important questions. So let's start. So here you can see the first type of question which is very important is a function is given to you and you are asked to discuss continuity at certain point. For example, in this particular first problem, this is the function given to us and they ask us to discuss continuity at x equal to 0. Second problem also, this is very important question, they again ask us to discuss continuity at x equal to 0. Similar in question number 3, 4, they ask us to discuss continuity at x equal to 0. Here, they ask us to discuss continuity at the point x equal to pi. Here once again, very important question and they are asking us to discuss the continuity of this particular function at x equal to 0. Very important question, they are asking us to discuss continuity at x equal to 7. Here again they discuss, they are asking us to discuss, test, examine or check the continuity of this function at x equal to 0. So this is type 1 question where a function is given to us and you are asked to discuss continuity at one particular point. The next type of question is, they ask you to find the value of some unknown, for example, k. And if the function is given to be continuous, for example, this particular function here is continuous at x equal to 0 and they are asking us to find k. Similarly, this particular function is continuous at x equal to pi by 3 and they are asking us to get the value of k. The third one, the function is continuous at x equal to pi by 4 and they are asking us to get the value of k. Here, this particular function is continuous at x equal to 0 and they are asking us to find the value of f0. So this is the second variety of questions which are very very important where the given function is continuous and you are asked to find out value of some unknown or value of function at the point of continuity. The next very important type of question is where they give you a function which is having different types of definitions in the different intervals. For example, this particular function has got a quadratic definition in the subinterval alpha to beta while it has got a linear definition px plus q in the subinterval beta to k and it has got this definition between say k to gamma they give you this kind of function which has got multiple definitions each definition is valid for some kind of subinterval and they ask you to discuss continuity in the domain of the function for example here the domain of function is the closed interval alpha to gamma so this kind of questions where instead of talking about one particular point, they give you a function and ask you to discuss continuity in the entire domain of the function. Very important question. Look at this question. What they say is, they say find the value of A and find the value of P when this particular function is continuous at x equal to 0. So given function is continuous at x equal to 0 and you are asked to find the values of a and b. Similarly, here they ask you to find the value of alpha and beta and the given function is continuous from minus pi to pi. Very important question. Here they ask us to find the value of a and b, the value of a and the value of b and it is given that the function is continuous at x equal to 1 and this is another very important type of problem where you get a polynomial divided by polynomial and they ask you to discuss continuity 
in the domain which can be say mn so these are very important questions here these are general polynomials it can be any other polynomial given to us it not necessarily be a degree 2 polynomial so values of a b c p q r m n could be a specific numbers similarly here also a b c p q r m n theta all these are constants in real sense you will get some numbers out here i hope the things are clear so these are very very important problems from continuity once you master these problems on continuity you will be super expert in continuity and i'm sure you'll score well in this particular topic next coming up is the derivative so these are very important questions for derivative a function raised to function type of problem where we take log and then we differentiate that is called as logarithmic differentiation or problems based on inverse trigonometry function it could be sin inverse or cos inverse inside you have something like this and they ask you to find the derivative you have got inverse trigonometry function outside and inside you got some big function wherein we do some substitution method to convert this particular inverse function into simplest form for example this is got say sin inverse and inside you got this big stuff so what we do is we substitute 7x equals to tan theta and then this particular inverse function gets reduced to simplest form and then we differentiate so this kind of problems where you got inverse function outside and inside you got a big fx like this and which we deal with by substituting some suitable term or this kind of uh, implicit function you know where f is any function and you got term like this power of x plus power of y and down you have got the conjugate and all this thing is equal to some constant for example i've got say in place of f i've got log to the base 10 and see this particular term similar to this and that is equal to constant and they ask us to show that uh, dy by dx is equal to y by x so this is very important kind of problem and then we have got parametric functions you know like x is function of t y is also some function of t and then they ask us to find out the derivative dy by dx another very important pair, uh, implicit kind of function is this x raised to p y raised to q is equal to x plus y raised to p plus q and then they ask us to find or rather they ask us to show that uh, dy by dx is equal to y by x here p and q can be some numbers for example uh, p is 3 q is 2 so this is x raised to 3 and to y raised to 2 equal to x plus y raised to 3 plus 2 and that is 5 this is also another important parametric function prob uh, sorry implicit function problem y equal to this guy and you're asked to show this this show that kind of problem in implicit function you know where they give you an implicit function like this like this like this like this and they ask us to show that dy by dx is equal to something that is the flavor of question which is very important then comes higher order derivative questions where they give you certain function and they ask us to show that say for example this minus this is equal to zero so this flavor of question you know where they give you certain question and they ask you to show that some expression a uh, kind of a differential equation type of expression which is equal to zero a uh, very popular and very important question is this they give an implicit function and they ask us to show that second order derivative uh, is equal to zero and remember solve all the theorems you should know proof of all the theorems they are very very important and when i say all it means all so these are very important flavors of the questions for derivative you know questions from logarithmic differentiation function raised to function type then inverse trigonometry function using substitution method then implicit type of uh, problems where you have to show something and parametric functions very important and higher order derivative where they ask you to show something these are very very important questions for derivatives next is integration 
yeah so in integration what is important is the type of problem so these are few important types of problems 1 by a sin x plus b cos x plus c where a b c are some constant and quite similar to this is 1 by a sin square plus b cos square plus c again a b c are some constant now in these two types um, any one term out of these three terms may be missing so for example question might have only b cos x plus c type term or a sin x plus c term or any one term out of these three may be missing still it is same type then you have got 1 by quadratic 1 by root quadratic or root quadratic and here l is linear linear by quadratic linear by root quadratic linear into root quadratic linear basically means a degree one function right for example um, linear function is like px plus q type which has got degree one and quadratic is degree two for example ax square plus bx plus c so this combination you know for quadratics so this kind of question see root of a plus or minus x divided by b plus or minus x or this kind of function where f and g are strictly either sin or cos for example i have a question like say sin x minus a divided by say cos x plus a so this kind of question i can have you know combination like sin divided by sin or cos divided by cos term or sin by cos or cos by cos but more or less the structure will be similar to this or you have one by say a sin x minus a into sin x minus p again here it could be sin sin or in place of it could be you know cos and cos or it might be sin and cos or it might be cos and sin those kind of questions then problems based on the product rule uv rule they are very very important and problems based on e raised to x into fx plus f dash x dx so these are few selected types of problems which you have to practice so if you practice say one one problem of each type or two three problems of each type that is sufficient uh, the most important you know difficult part of integration is the problems which are based on substitution so next i'll give you some important questions for method of substitutions so these are the some of very important questions which use method of substitution so i suggest you to pause the video for a moment and note down all these problems based on uh, substitutions and these are very very important questions and highly expected in examination next i'll discuss definite integrals